back to CV Australia blog. I'm standing here with Glenn Secco. Glenn Secco from Miltronics. Now, Glenn, I had to actually pull over for a sec. Uh, what is this thing? Come closer, have a look at this. A full replacement mirror. So instead of having a clip on mirror or something, you take your old uh, mirror off the windscreen. Yep. This goes straight onto the socket. You can have uh, navigation through it, a rear view camera through it, or even if you wanted to be cheeky and stop somewhere, you can have a DVD through it. <laughs> it's a 4.5 inch LCD panel inbuilt into your rear vision mirror. And, and that's a mirror component, so you, you actually you can see yes, you can. backwards. When, when the, uh, the navigation's not on or the rear view camera system's not on, you get a full mirror. Full mirror. So it's, it's a mirror no matter what. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's got embedded in it the uh, LCD smart screen. That's fantastic. Now, how does that communicate back to the car? It, it obviously needs to get power, so there's a cable yeah. that comes yeah. down. It's just a, a cable that comes goes through. through the roof lining. Yes, it does. Yeah. So it's very um, and menus wise, is it a control? Yeah, there's a remote control that yeah. comes with it as well. Uh, yeah. You can switch it on and off. And it's like, but it's automatic. You turn on the nav system, it'll come. Yeah. Uh, when you put your vehicle in reverse, the, uh, the rear view camera will come. The image will come. Oh, here it comes. And what's this sort of thing retail for? So if someone wants to buy it? Uh, it's about $399. $399? $399. That's not bad. I mean, a GPS costs that anyway. And having it in your rear view, has it caught attention? I mean, it must have. Yeah. Because it makes sense, right? You know, like some, some have got uh, heavy clip-ons, you know, a heavy clip-on version. But for that OEM look, the clean look, it's just like it's been made for the car. Uh, this is the way. That's the way. Any other funky products you want to show us? Anything that catches attention? We've got some new uh, uh, in-dash navigation products now. This will do um, uh, navigation. DVD, MP3, radio. It's a DIN one with a 4.3 inch touch screen. Uh, you can have your radio going um, uh, and nav and uh, so you can listen to your radio. And then uh, when you come to an intersection, it'll automatically go to your, uh, your nav system, tell you where you, when you've got to turn, yes. and then come back to your radio. Nice. Uh, tilt. Um, it's an oversized uh, thing, you can play your DVDs in there, MP4, MP3. So DVD as well as the yeah. Uh, yeah. multi-region yeah. DVD. Uh, it's a full entertainment system and navigation system. Uh, Lane's just, just come in. Uh, it's got a uh, touch screen, as touch well. screen uh, point, point navigation, 3D, 2D, night vision. The actual smarts of it uh, was voted in the UK as the best navigation system. Really? Um, beat all the other companies. Yeah, We've got the engineers and the software people in from uh, Korea and the US uh, for our release. Very good. Okay guys, so you can see, GPS is actually quite big this year at Seabit Australia. But if you get the opportunity, come down to stand number... G34. G34, Meltronics, and they got some funky stuff. This is really cool stuff. So again, Glenn, thank you very much for your time. This has been Hugo from the, from the Seabit blog. Till next time.